Do you sometimes feel like you have so much going on, so much to do, so many places to be, and you just feel so overwhelmed that sometimes we just say, F it, and we don't do any of it, or we just stress and stress and stress and feel so overwhelmed and so disorganized and don't even know where to start. In today's video, I'm going to share my top three ways to stay organized so that you can overall live more freely, more peacefully, and less stressed. If you're new here, I'm Sarah, and I created this channel to help you build a more fulfilling and loving and beautiful life with a dash of spirituality. And today, we're gonna get organized. So did you guys know that there's something called decision-making fatigue? So basically our brains are only capable of making X amount of decisions every single day. So the more that you can remove some of those decisions from your daily life, the less stress you're going to have because over time that will compound and give you a bigger sense of just relief organization and just feeling more calm when you have a lot of things going on. Actually, I think it was, um, what's his face? I don't know. There's a lot of people out there that are high earners like Bill Gates and others who actually wear the exact same outfit every single day. So that takes a decision out of their day that has to be made, freeing up their decisions to be made for other things. Another example of this is if you're on some kind of diet, or you're trying to lose weight, you'll notice that your willpower isn't there as much later in the day as it is when you first wake up in the morning, and that's because you've used all of your decisions up. So let's get right into it. So tip number one, and I've been doing this for probably over two years now, and it has seriously been a game changer, and that is looking at all the things you have to do day by day and picking out the top three things you must do every day. And this can range from big things like work-related, event-related, whether you have to get a gift for something, all the way down to sometimes I do, hey, I really wanna get this journal prompt done today. I really wanna write about this in my journal. So it can just be an array of things. Obviously, some days you're gonna have more important things than others. And you just want to take those top three things and write them down. So I'll show you mine here real quick. I just do it in my phone, but you know, you obviously can do it with a pen and paper, on your computer, whatever, float your boat. So, so as you can see here, I've got Wednesday. I know I have a few more than three things, but they're little things so I know I can get them done. Okay, don't, don't come for me, don't come for me. I have Wednesdays here, if you can see that, hello. And then we've got Thursday, and then I don't have anything for Friday yet, and I have my biggest thing on Saturday. So all I do is I go through this throughout the day and I check things off and I just erase them. I erase them when they're done. And one of the things on here is film YouTube. What to do when you're feeling overwhelmed. So I get to check that one off when I'm done filming this. And then tomorrow I have edit YouTube. There we go. So that is like, if you're gonna take away anything from these top three things, this is the one to follow. And look, we're not super freaking human, okay? I mean, we kind of are, but we're kind of not. So if some days you don't get through everything, move it to the next day. That's what I do. And then other days, you might get ahead on your schedule and pull up something from the next day or the day after or whatever. But you want to just keep in mind, keep those top three things, whatever they may be. They can be related to anything, whatever's going on in your life. And just focus on those three things and get them done. I usually go throughout the day, I'll get one done in the morning or when it fits into my schedule. Right now it's around 12 o'clock, so I'm in the middle of my work day, but I have a few hours gap, so I was able to squeeze this in right here. So don't stress out too much about it. Don't stress about the stress. Just organize it, organize it. Look, I'm a Virgo. I live by organizations and lists and spreadsheets and all this kind of stuff. So I'm just sharing my knowledge with you because I get very overwhelmed. Okay, okay, so the next thing 
it's a spreadsheet, okay? So I found myself getting very overwhelmed. I have four very, very close friends of mine getting married this year. So that means four weddings, four bachelorettes, four showers, four sets of gifts, four outfits, four sets of accommodations, flights, hotels. I'm gonna tell you what, one night, I just lost it and I was like, I cannot, I cannot do this. I'm freaking out. I don't know when's where I have to be for what, what do I have done? What do I still need to do? So I made my handy dandy spreadsheet and it made me think of why don't I do this all the time? Life is busy all the time. So if you have a lot of things coming up, whether it's birthdays, anniversaries, events, work things, vacations, whatever it is, make a spreadsheet okay i know it looks a lot it looks like a lot but i'll tell you what it probably only took me uh i don't know an hour an hour to do all of this so and i even have some things color coded so i've got blue things are wedding stuff purple things are other events red is still things that i need to do outfits i need to get uh, gifts that i need to buy and I will tell you guys what, as soon as I finished this freaking spreadsheet, I was like, oh, my work here is done. Because then you know what I've done after that? I take these and I put the things I still need to do and I spread them out through my top three lists every single day. Who saw that coming? <laughs> So that's kind of how I work those two things together. And like, I've literally never done this before and I'm kicking myself because it's amazing. And you just have it there and you just fill things in as you did it. You know, I, I bought a gift two nights ago. So I went through and I, I checked it off my little spreadsheet and it's like, ah, one thing done, another thing done. And you just like feel really good about it. Okay, okay. And so the last thing I wanna talk about, I believe I may have talked about this in another video, but I'm not sure. So I wanna bring it up again here is if you think of something that you need to do, a small thing, and it's something that you can do within the next five minutes, do it now. Do it now. Or if it's something that you know that's going to make you feel better in an hour, in a day, in a week, and if you just spend those five minutes doing it now, do it. Do it, get it done, do it while you're thinking of it. If you can't do it right while you're thinking about it, what I will do is I will pull out my alarm on my phone, okay? and I will set an alarm for a time later in the day that I know I'm gonna have time to do this thing, and I set it up, and I do it. An example of this would be, I just bought some new uh, pillowcases that I'm really excited about, I know, adulting. <laughs> and last night, I was like, hey, I should wash these so I can put them on my bed so I can sleep with them tonight, and that would make me like really happy. And I had a really long day at work yesterday, I was on the road driving for like eight freaking hours, but I was like, I'm going to be so happy if I just do this. So I did, and guess what? I was happy. <laughs> so it really doesn't take a lot of work to get organized. It's just knowing how to do it and what to do. So hopefully you guys found a lot of value in this video. I know our lives can be so overwhelming sometimes. I feel that way quite often, but doing these three things will be such a game changer for you. And over time, as I said earlier, you will realize that it compounds and it becomes kind of a, a habit or a routine where you just don't have to worry about those things anymore because you build that trust in yourself that you know you're gonna get it done. So it does a lot of things for you while just doing these simple tasks. So I hope you found a lot of value in this video. I love you guys. If you did, please like this video and subscribe so we can hang out again next week. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to hit the little bell and share this with someone who needs it. And don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.